So it's 2022 and we're doing our grand finale in Staten Island. So we visited Bronx, Brooklyn, Manhattan, Queens, and now it's Staten Island. What we've been doing is we've been setting up a house of prayer married with missions. So it's 24 seven or 24 four worship, prayer and evangelism going on. So where did this all come from? And so I look back in my life and I think the greatest marking period that happened was in 2010, I was invited by a Lee Farrell resting place to go on a trip to Toronto. And um, I really debated if I should go or not, but I heard God say, yes, you need to go on this trip because Mike Bickle has a word for you. And so when I heard that, I was like, okay, God, I'm gonna go. And when I went, um, I went into this meeting, there was probably a thousand people there, and Mike Bickle gave a word. And the word was about the marriage of the missions with the house of prayer. And I said, oh my gosh, this is so beautiful. Yes, of course. And after he gave the message, you know, Mike Bickle, he always has the PDFs ready for you. And I thought, oh, I've got it all. This is beautiful. I received the message. But in my heart, I just knew there was going to be more, or maybe I thought there was going to be more, or maybe I thought it was over. But anyway, at the end, I heard Mike Bickle said, we're going to pray. So my team is going to be released. So everybody just get to, you know, the corners of the back of the walls and my team's going to go out and pray. So I went out into the, you know, the walls of the church, it was big. And I was actually in the far back corner and I was just waiting on the Lord and I thank God for that message. And then suddenly about four people away, I hear a voice and it was the voice of Mike Pickle. And I thought, how in the world did that man get from the stage to the back? And you know, God will put people in your life to impart things. And so I knew that this was something that God wanted to do that day. So as um, he's coming closer and closer, I just felt this great expectation. And he came up to me and he took my hand and he put it on my heart. And then he took his hand and he put his hand on my heart and he began to pray. And I don't actually remember every word he said, but it was about the Tabernacle of David. And as he prayed, a fire hit me. And he laughed and this fire continued to the point where I felt like that fire could not be contained anymore and I was gonna explode. So literally for probably the next week, I would have these waves of fire just coming through me to the point where I would say, God, no more, I don't think I could take this fire. And I believe that was an impartation that God gave me for this vision of the missions married to the house of prayer back in 2010. And then fast forward 2015, it was amazing. Um, I get a phone call from Olga Calvu about this group of wild missionaries that want to come in town and establish this similar thing. And I thought, oh my God, yes. And so she said, can I set up an appointment? And I said, sure, of course. So Al Olga comes on with Stephen Ugin and they all come into my church and explain to me this vision. And I was all on board. And then I saw it in action. And here it is 2022 and it's happening and it's gonna continue. And I thank God for imparting this vision because it's so beautiful to see the house of prayer married to mission, amen.